The greatest issues that get in the way of complying with ARV regimens uh, typically is the side effect profile. That's that's got to be the number one um, complaint: the nausea, um, the diarrhea. Um, are are can be really um, debilitating at times. But the other thing is lipoatrophy, lipodystrophy, which basically are are you know some changes where you get bigger in some areas and other areas you get smaller. And so that is a huge um, um, factor also uh, for uh, some individuals, especially who are concerned about their look. Uh, they don't want to uh, end up with a, you know a thinned face because that's that can uh, uh, contributed to the stigma of HIV walking down the street. You get these thin faces; it can become obvious. Um, you know, the thinning the arms and the legs, and the and the increase in the abdominal girth, and increased in you know breast enlargement, etc. Um, that can also be very um, debilitating for women. The increase in abdominal girth and breast enlargement. And then the other issue is, is for many of my patients, they talk about the stigma of, um, you know, they don't live alone. They live in a family unit or multiple family members in one dwelling. And they, the family members don't know about their HIV. And so they don't want to be seen taking medications, especially those, the, the one, you know, it's refrigerated, the Norvir. Uh, they surely don't want to have that in the refrigerator with everybody else going into the refrigerator. So there have been multiple, and it's mostly with women more so than men, multiple patients I've had that, that won't take their medications correctly uh, because of the stigma associated with the family units that they live in. Um, the other issues I've found are um, individuals that don't have stability in their life. They either travel a lot uh, and they move through various time zones, very few of those patients. The other would be individuals who party a lot uh, and don't take their medications because uh, they're using either crystal methamphetamine or alcohol. Um, I actually actually found my heroin addicts, individuals who were you know, using heroin, uh, were much more compliant uh, than individuals using crystal methamphetamine. Um, that seemed to be a really difficult drug to um, find um, stability in uh, for patients to be able to take their medications on a regular basis. Uh, the other, you know, a couple other things you think about it: the number of pills. A few of my patients had said that they will not take, one of my patients said, I will not take any medication until it is one pill once a day. And uh, so eventually when a tripla came out, one pill once a day, um, he would, he, I presented it to him and he had to give in because that's what he said he would do. So um, I think though that would probably be the biggest uh, in terms of the effects or the, the factors, the barriers that um, present with individuals who are not adherent to their therapy.